Hello, and welcome to the Mitsubishi Electric webinars. My name is Greg Hookings, and I work within the marketing group here at MEAU. The following application solutions webinar will cover pumping control, where we will take a look at how Mitsubishi Electric's industrial automation products can be used to create a powerful solution. To understand the application, the following images present an example of where the Mitsubishi control solution might be used. The example shows a pumping application for sprinklers within a greenhouse. The control system is located away from the sprinklers in the control room. There you can see the pumps, inlet and outlet water piping and the GT1020 mounted to the control cabinet door. Through effective pumping, water is pumped at a constant pressure to ensure that the plants are watered evenly and correctly. The pump consists of three main parts, the pump, the check valve and the pressure sensor. The fluid would be provided from the supply, the pump then pressurises the fluid after which the outlet piping is used to pass the fluid to the delivery point. The check valve operates as a one-way valve. Once the pressure has reached the threshold within the main system piping, the inverter is able to stop pumping as the one-way valve stops any pressure loss caused by backflow. The pressure sensor provides feedback to the inverter regarding the pressure of the main piping. This feedback signal allows the inverter to determine when pumping is necessary within the system. Finally, there are a number of examples where a solution like this might be used. For example, wastewater treatment, farming irrigation, reservoir management, building water management and golf course irrigation. The Mitsubishi Electric solution consists of an A700 VFD, a GT1020 HMI, a third party pressure sensor and a third party pump and motor. The pressure sensor is connected to the A700's analog inputs. Based on information provided by the sensor, the A700 VFD controls the operation of the pump. The PLC for storing the user program is also located within the inverter. And finally, the GT1020 connects to the VFD through its dedicated inverter driver connection. Next, let's take a look at the highlights of the Mitsubishi Electric solution. At the centre of the application is the A700 inverter which controls the pump characteristics. The A700 has the unique feature of having a built-in PLC enabling users to create a program that can be used to reduce energy savings and carry out diagnostic checks. Also, as the need for a standalone PLC is removed, this solution avoids issues where specific PLC types are specified for pumping projects. The A700 also features technology that allows the operator to see component life so that maintenance checks can be scheduled. The GT1020 is a low-cost HMI solution that features a direct connection to the A700 VFD. Through creative screen designs, calibration and setup screens can be created as well as alarm diagnostic screens for reporting the status of the application. Within the solution, the A700 VFD is responsible for a number of functions. These include speed and torque control of the pump, which is necessary to control the pressure within the system. Configuration of the motor settings, so that the VFD can determine the motor type and avoid excessive noise from the application. Analog input settings for the pressure sensor are also an important feature where the input range can be selected. Finally, the ability to set up communication to the HMI for operator control and for PLC programming are also necessary. The built-in PLC is a unique part within the A700 VFD and is programmed by GX Developer. Its functionality can be broken into three clear parts. The first is system setup. This involves calibrating the system to the given application. Calibrating the system allows the user to adjust the various control points of the application, for example, adjusting the responsiveness of the PID control, setting up the pump type within the application, and allowing the pump to go into sleep mode where it no longer drives the pump when a set point pressure has been achieved. 
The program also handles the control method, for example, switching between manual and auto mode. Manual mode means that the pump will respond to operator commands, whereas auto mode will mean that the pump will complete pump operation automatically, carrying out PID control to sustain pressure, along with diagnostics to make sure the application operates in a safe manner. Finally, the alarm functionality is also a highlight of the solution. While most VFDs can handle alarms internal to the product, the A700's built-in PLC can also handle and diagnose faults from within the application solution. For example, monitoring if the pressure sensors become disattached, or checking if there is no fluid flow within the pump to avoid motor burnout. The GT1020 comes from Mitsubishi Electric's range of low-cost HMIs. The GT1020 is the smallest and most affordable product within this range. Within the application, the GT1020 acts as the interface so that the user can complete system setup and calibration, input the set point value and complete system monitoring. The GT1020 also has dedicated fault management screens so that the user can see if a fault has occurred and reset faults if necessary. The screens that will be shown below have been extracted from the demonstration program. First is the pump setup screen. Then comes the PID setup screen. Third is the main control screen. And finally is the fault management screen. As with all our applications, there are different ways to design the system solution. Examples of this are covered on this slide. The F700 and GT1020 HMI offer a more affordable solution. The F700 is cheaper than the A700, however it does not feature a built-in PLC. Therefore, while reducing cost, some functionality, such as fault diagnostics within the application, will be removed. Please note that the GT1000 range of HMIs can connect directly to the entire range of Mitsubishi VFDs. The FX3 PLC, F700 and GT1020 solution offers different advantages to the A700 solution. The FX3 series PLC connects to the A700 via the FreeCoil protocol so that it can read and write to all parameters of the drive. The FX3 offers larger programming of up to 64,000 steps for greater program size and flexibility. There are also much more options to expand physically for more sophisticated applications. For further information on the Mitsubishi Electric solution for pumping control, material can be found in five separate components. A double page quick reference guide, a detailed application note, complete programming files, images and movies, and this presentation. All of this material is available on the MEAU website at meau.com. Just click on the industry solutions link to find your way to the material. And that brings me to the end of this application solutions webinar. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation.